Good evening, folks, and welcome to your Tuesday update for week two. Um, so we've done another week in isolation. Hope everyone is faring up okay. Um, now I am going to try and do a few things that I've not done before on this video, so it might all go horribly wrong. Uh, if it does start to go horribly wrong, I'm just going to hit pause, try and get myself sorted out, and then re-record. Um, so if it all goes a bit west, then that's what's going to happen. Anyway, right, let's get cracking because you lot have been doing some absolutely amazing stuff. Um, and I've done myself a PowerPoint to try and keep my train of thought so I can get through the stuff that I wanted to talk to you about. Um, now, if we can get this working, this is like we're halfway there to uh, live stream lessons. If I can talk to you and run through a PowerPoint, um, obviously there's another few things thrown in there, then we have basically got the bones of a live... Uh, a live lesson so let's see if this can work so uh before i do that i'm gonna do that and let's see what we can see right um yeah so here's my powerpoint and this is reminding me we've got to talk about cynical and we're going to go there first up because you guys have been pretty amazing on this um and i want to show you what i mean so hopefully now you can see the powerpoint and you can see me chatting which would be which would be amazing so i'm going to come straight out of there oh something else I'm going to come straight out of there and I'm going to go here because I want to show you this right this is um, the overall leaderboard for Seneca in the UK and this is we got here we've got um, this is the week that we've just done now if you look Furnace Academy you guys have completed 6,342 sessions in the last week now that is phenomenal Okay, if you look, we're, we're currently ranked 154th. Now, considering that's mainly just science, the science we've been setting you, we've not been, I don't know, I know there was some talk of doing stuff in maths. I'll probably get a lot of messages now from the other teachers who've all been setting it. But basically, that is really, really good. Well, when you're near, there's 8,000, over 8,000 schools using Seneca. So if we're 154th, guys, if we do some quick maths, What's going to be, well, what's going to be 1% of 8,000 divided by 100 is going to be just over 80. So double that, 80, 160. So we're inside or within the top 2% of schools in terms of sessions completed and sections complete. So that is absolutely amazing. All right. So huge, huge well done. I mean, yeah, we'd like to be in the top 100, but there's a bit of time for that left um, to go. But yeah amazing the work that you lot are putting in remotely on your science stuff through Seneca so yeah super uh, proud of you there now if I go here um, you should be able to see just this is just my classes so my classes have all been totally crushing it and I know this is the same for Miss Coulter's classes Miss Sweeney's Miss Macintosh Miss Ivy's you know Miss Kitchens everyone's getting really on board with the Seneca and we're really really proud so I mean, my classes alone, you've done over 3,000 sessions completed. So that's super, super impressive. So, yeah, just just really, really um, well done. All right, so so that that is uh, that is good stuff. So if I come back into my PowerPoint, hopefully this is still all working. <laughs> um, yeah, now with the Seneca, there's been some, some bits of absolute comedy, and I wanted to share a couple of those with you because they, they really made me laugh. So the first... Um, I was Amy, Amy Robinson. I got this email from Amy Robinson, and I'll let you guys read. Hi, sir. I've completed my energy assignments as requested. However, I accidentally completed the astrophysics assignment as well without realizing. I hope this isn't a problem. <laughs> and she sent me a screenshot as well. So that was brilliant, Amy. No, it's not a problem that you're doing astrophysics. That's wonderful as far as I'm concerned. Um, astrophysics was the bit I chose to do in my degree when I did a physics degree. You could do medical physics or you could do astrophysics and I chose to do astrophysics because I wasn't bothered about scanners and stuff so much. I wanted to know about space and stars. So you crack on with your astrophysics because that is, as far as I'm concerned, that is uh, sensational. And it adds to our total, uh, which is putting us in that top 2% of the country. So well done, Amy. But yeah, that did make me laugh. Uh, next thing I want to share with you was... Um, yeah, I, I got an email from Amy Davis, so Amy Davis in year 10, and um, it was a brilliant email, just came through today, half 10 this morning, it was like, uh, I don't know my login for Seneca, alright, that was it, 
No, hi, sir. How are you doing? How are you surviving isolation? It was just straight to the point. I don't know my login for Seneca. Not even Amy. Didn't even say my name, Amy. So anyway, now, that made me chuckle to start. Great email, Amy. Um, now, for those of you who know Amy, I, I've taught her for a lot of years at school, and we've had a few stand-up rows in the past. You know, we've had a few falling out. Um, so it was great when uh, I got this one. So I thought, you know, she wants to know a lot of Seneca. So I sent her an email back. Hey, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. Just saying now she had some options. She could do some stuff. Uh, she could, uh, you know, re-sign up or she could go and try and get them, send her a new password. Or she's got some alternatives. She can do some stuff on uh, on BBC Bite Size or, yeah, any, anything like that. So... I sent that off and I thought, yeah, hopefully she'll see it. So I got this back, which is great. Okay, so thank you. I'm logged on, but the class code isn't working. So I thought, well, this is brilliant. Okay. Um, she's halfway there now. All right. And then finally, about two minutes later, I got this. Never mind. I found it. Thanks for the help. So this for me, the reason I'm showing you this is this is this has been happening Um all across with all the science teachers there that you lot have been really really resilient i am so proud of amy for what she's done here okay like no matter what's gone in the past and the fact we've had our fallings out she's taking responsibility for her learning here yeah she could have just not bothered but she did she sent me an email um and she's got it sorted and she's got on there and she's taking responsibility for her learning it is wonderful so hugely proud of you amy well done and the same is happening. We've got loads of students who are really um, doing their best and getting hold of this, and it's 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 great. It's really really good. So that that made me smile. That was brilliant. Okay, a uh, couple other things. You know, not everyone can get onto the Seneca. This is brilliant from Kieran. I don't teach Kieran, but you know, he sent me a screenshot of the tests that he'd done. He got ten out of ten on electric circuits um, on the bite size, and that was brilliant because again, it's you're not quitting. You're not giving up. You're showing real resilience. You know. We, we have whole, uh, as a staff at the school, we have whole sessions on how we can build your resilience and to see stuff like this happening is wonderful because people aren't giving up their cracking on. So, Kieran, that was sensational, mate, okay? Same Emily here. Emily couldn't go on the Seneca. She's worked hard to do it now, but she's not just given up. She's done the stuff on Educate. So, uh, just the last message on this. Uh, we're really proud in the science department for the work you've done on Seneca, like, to get in the top 2% of schools using it nationally is awesome. Um, and, you know, just all of you are really cushion it. So that's uh, that taste. The other thing, like Emily, like Kieran, you know, if you can't get on Seneca, you've got the option of emailing me. There's some tutorials on the on the YouTube channel, but it's, it doesn't matter. Okay, that's, that's plan A, but, you know, people can come up with plan B. As long as you're taking responsibility for your learning, um, then you won't go wrong so just keep going because we're, we're super proud right let's have a look oh thumbnails right now hang on a minute uh the thumbnail thing was brilliant um i just saw i said it as a throwaway comment and within like five minutes reese milan had sent me one back and it, and like there followed some really really good uh good thumbnails we've got some really talented um techies out there who like know their way around photoshop they can um yeah sort loads of stuff out because i got these things coming through thick and fast so hopefully i can show you a few that i've got because these these were brilliant um where's my mouse gone well i might not be able to do it if i can't find my mouse let's see if i can find it right, it's look right i'll pause up because i'm going wrong yeah so um yeah, I put together a few of them because they were they were brilliant. So Matthew, that was ace, mate. Uh, Reese sent another one through, very good. Kobe, I like it, very corporate, mate. We know that's Furnace Academy, that's good. Uh, yeah, Matthew, what can we say about that? <laughs> um, Harvey, yeah, brilliant. Liam, some excellent ones. Now, hopefully you'll know because it's the thumbnail for this video that the the winning uh, thumbnail was done by Aaron Davis. Um, yeah, really good. Made me made me laugh a lot. So. Oh, Scott, sorry, Scott's been doing me some thumbnails and he's done some thumbnails for the the, vid, um, the tutorial videos about how to log into Seneca and how to do Seneca assignments. So, yeah, guys, thanks for those. They're uh, spot on. 
Oh, I can get on Sims from home in the comfort of isolation. I can still get on the Sims, so this just shows I've put Harvey and Matthew a brick on. I've put the other guys who've done me thumbnails on. Girls, come on. I want to see some techie skills. I want some thumbnails for the for week three's video, please. I'm sure some of you can do it. Um so crack on. Um yeah, now hopefully, because I've lost my train of thought, this this next slide will tell me what I'm doing. Yes, this week's competitions now. Let's see if I can do this without crashing my computer. This week's competitions. I don't know what this means exactly, but my son says I need an intro. Okay, so I need you for next week's video to sort me an intro and email it to me, I imagine, um, along with a thumbnail. So if you can do an intro, which I presume is like a little video to go at the start of the the section, uh, start of the uploads, uh, do me a video, and if not i need a thumbnail for the next uh the next thing as well so that's the first competition and then i've got some else as well i think i hope i keep losing my mouse when i do this so let's see that's still recording we still good we're still good we're still good this is where you need to learn how to use an editing software and then I'll be able to edit this down. But for now, this is it. Right, oh! The science department, we've got a WhatsApp group. I know you might think that's sad, but the science teachers, to keep ourselves uh, in communication, we've got a science WhatsApp group. Now, normally we're talking about how you guys are getting on and some serious stuff about school, etc. But every now and again, someone posts a bit of fun because obviously isolation is tough for us as well. Um, and this was a quiz that, uh, who said this one? Miss Sales. Miss Sales said this, and I'm going to set it for you guys. So you've got to guess the cartoons or cartoon characters represented by these images. Parents can have a go at this, and all you've got to do is send me an email uh, of the list of cartoons, 1 to 20, once you've worked them out. Um, you might need your parents' help with some of these. Some of them are older than others, but, you know, I'm sure you will be wise when it comes to cartoons. Uh, anyone who gets all 20 right will get a brick because I've just proven I can still do that for a moment so I can get on Sims. Good. Okay. So, oh, finally, because I've been rambling on for 12 minutes already, live stream lessons. Now, to be fair, you can probably tell us my, my technical skills aren't the best in the world. I'm learning this as I go along now. Um, just like you guys are learning how to like, take responsibility for keeping up with your education and keeping on with your education in whatever form that is and like taking responsibility for the learning which you're doing really well with you know i'm i'm out of my comfort zone here massively as you can probably tell i'm learning how to do this i'm taking part of the reason i'm doing these videos is one because i think it's important that we have some interaction but also so i can learn new skills so i can learn how to do something um so yeah i'm totally bricking it to be fair about the live lessons and what if it all goes wrong because they're live you know yeah, there's loads of things. It's all anxiety about these live stream lessons. But, you know, we're getting there. We've used the PowerPoint. I've talked to you with the PowerPoint. Um, you know, what what could possibly go wrong? Um, and if, you know, if it does go wrong, hey, ho, it goes wrong, but we've had to go. So I'll overcome my fears, keep working on upping my skills to get these live stream lessons. So I've not got a timetable yet. It will be on atomic structure for key stage four. I'm at the minute I'm breaking it down into, uh, into structured lessons um, and preparing the resources so I can hopefully run through them uh, while you guys are at home watching the lesson and taking notes and um, yeah, learning, learning some stuff on the new topics. Okay, right. So, um, that is it for tuesday's update you know um we're super proud of you we're super proud how you're working uh, and how you're getting on and um yeah i hope it's not too sort of hard for everyone in isolation i know for me and with my kids um it's ups and downs you know some sometimes it's fine sometimes it's like stress points where we're you know we're all grumpy with each other and we just need to try and get into some different rooms in the house um to cool off but yeah overall you know things worst things happen at sea they say so yeah we just got to keep going um and yeah make the most of uh of the situation we're in okay right uh that's it folks bye for now i've got a mouse
whenever I go full screen on the camera, I lose my mouse, but I'll get it back. 